Hello, I'm back with another wig review. So I have actually had this wig for a very long time. This is John Renault Ignite in Malibu Blonde. It's 12 SF, 12 FS12. And I uh, first bought this, I feel like everyone, if you just want long hair, then this wouldn't be for you. But if you're into short hair, um, this is like a rite of passage wig that you must get because um, it's just, the cut um, is so, I don't want to say cute, because I think as older women, we don't want to look cute, we don't want to look adorable. We want to be um, sassy and, and sexy and beautiful and glamorous. And um, we want to look confident and, and professional. And you know, we don't want to be cute, we don't want to be adorable, so, you will probably never really hear that come out of my mouth um, because I'm not wearing wigs so that I can look cute. Um, if I want to look cute, I'll put my hair in um, pigtails or something like that. So this wig is not cute. This wig is very edgy. It's very um, posh spice, Victoria Beckham, whatever she wants to be called these days. Um, it's very, it's short in the back and then it angles forward. It's very easy to manage um, and it's affordable. So this is why that is a, is a great wig that you can get used to because if you end up not liking it and reselling it, eh, you didn't lose that much money. So that's why this is a really good um, wig to wear at first. It has, it has a lace front and I don't know when John Renault came out with this wig, but um, for being as old, you know, as an older generation of John Renault wigs, uh, I, I really like this lace front. Um, so they did a really good job. It only goes to like here. And then this is where um, it's like a basic cap. And this has permatease. Um, you know, permatease is that much debated thing on um, wigs, do you like it? Do you not? There's some brands that are notorious for their their bees nest look um, and uh, We won't get into those though, but um, but this one like Permatease has its place in the wig world and a lot of times like if you're gonna have a uh, like a synthetic wig and it has wefts you need permatease to help hide those wefts because I had wefts like that in the form of extensions, you know, when I was trying to keep my what pitiful amount of hair I had left going. Um, I used uh, clip-in extensions and, you know, different ones like that. And um, I didn't have any permatease to hide the weft. You know, you would try to comb in, permit. you would try to tease in between the hair and the wefts to make it stick better, to make it look thicker. To hide the wefts. So permatease is necessary even if it's a little bit to hide those wefts. So um, don't be completely scared of permatease because if you're getting a synthetic wig and it has wefts, you need a little bit of that permatease in between. Just, you know, keep that in mind. But this, the, the, the uh, permatease actually does it a favor because this wig, you know, I mean, my gosh, I would have never been able to have this kind of style with my hair. My hair was always sad and it was always just sad. I had sad hair. So um, I could never get the volume that I could get with this. And you know, people say you can use John Renault products and everything or um, any kind of wig product to make this fluffy, but I haven't put any products in this and I can still get it, you know, really thick and voluminous. And um, just look at that, look at that stack. That is just right on. Um, so yeah, this wig, um, and you can get it in non-rooted colors. I've only, I only have it in this one. And I feel like the rooting helps hide this little, um, this little area. And honestly, like I, I think that, you know, in some of these wigs, the fact that it doesn't have a monofilament part, it looks fine. And with this, this wig, I think it looks really good. You don't need that part because the idea is that your hair is so thick and full that you just can't see your scalp up there. And so that's why it's it's okay. And you know, you can see a little bit of the scalp right there and then poof, your hair's thick 
and you just can't be, you know, nobody can see your scalp because you have such thick hair and you've, you've styled it to where it's hidden. So that's why, you know, it is appropriate with this wig. Um, and I, I haven't thinned this out. Um, and it's easily tucks behind the ear. So, um, yeah, I think I, this, I mean, some people can pull this off, but, um, I like it when I have, oh, poke my eye. Um, you have that part, the bang, and this is, um, you can part this on either side. I, uh, you know, you got to train the hair, of course, but, um, you can part it on either side. But, um, this, I think when you tuck this, you have some little, little sideburn showing, and then you have this, you know, just like that, like, oh, ooh, I'm super, super sexy with my short hair, and I'm confident, and I'm a woman who knows what I want. I'm a woman who makes decisions and I'm in charge. I'm a big boss lady. Like that's what this kind of hair is, is, is I'm confident because I don't have to have long hair to be beautiful. I have this short, sexy bob that makes me show that I am confident and I can own my hair. That's what this kind of hair is. Um, so yeah, that is what I like about Ignite. It's super cute, super, like for when it's hot out, like I wore this, in the summer a lot when it's hot um and when i have like my kids that are trying to pull my hair all the time like this is a nice short style it's very short in the back so the fact that this is heat defiant it you know which i don't know what else you could do if you style this i guess you could i don't know i you would be able to style this part maybe i don't know but um i think just the the fact that it's heat defiant helps give it um less shine and then also, I didn't think it just helps it with the, the stacking and the styling, of course. But, um, so, you know, heat defiant fibers tend to wear out, but with it being so short, um, see, with it being so short, you don't have to worry about those fibers rubbing together. You know, I mean, still use like silicone spray and, and whatnot on it to maintain it, but, um, this is super easy to maintain. Like I... Honestly, I've been wearing long wigs, so um, this has just been in a box. I haven't done anything with it. So, um, and it still just comes out. There's no cold crimping or anything because it's short. So you can literally just throw it wherever and then pick it up and it's fine. So that's what I like about this wig. Um, very super woman. I'm awesome. Um, so yeah, this is really great hair. And the color of this blonde is not, it's not too blonde. It's brown. It's like a, it's a 12, 12 rooting with some brown, you know, that light brown mixed in with some of the, the fashion syrup, syrup blonde, which John or Noah is famous for. I don't know what colors are in that fashion syrup, but it looks good in whatever it's in. So, um, yeah, this is just, this is like a good blonde if you don't want to go too blonde, like, um, Palm Springs or Laguna, um, even like creme brulee, those different colors of John Renault's. So, um, this is a really good color. Um, it can look pretty bright. It's a lot brighter. I have this in Sarah, which is not heat synthetic. And, um, this is brighter than what it is on Sarah. So with the heat defiance, they are a brighter color than in the, the regular synthetic. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you're trying to match and I don't know, keep things all consistent. So yeah, I love this style. Um, super, like, just awesome, awesome hair, awesome hair, awesome style, awesome cut. Um, you know, I mean, you can even do that too if you want. But I think that makes my ears look huge. So, um, which is funny because I have really little ears. But I think tucking it just like that, and you know, you could, you can even add like little bands. Um, I didn't bring any with me to my little filming spot, otherwise I would have. But you can even. Um, a little, little hair on my face. See, you can even do that. You could put like a little, like a, a clip to help hold it back if it's driving you nuts at first. Um, I will admit that when I first got this wig, it was very, like the hair was always in my face. I was like, what am I gonna do with this thing? But after wearing it for a little bit, um, it was easy to get it all deep behind my head. But I think it looks really cool when you are able to get all that volume. And then, you know, this is like tucked behind the ear. So you're just, like, ooh, I got thick hair. And you just, people look at this and they're like, I want that hair. I wish my hair was that thick to do it like that. <sighs> so, yeah, people are envious of you when you have this. Um, 
So this was my John Renault Ignite uh, in Malibu Blonde. And um, I encourage people to buy this, whether you know it works on older ladies, works on younger girls, you just, you've got to own your hair. And uh, this style will give you that confidence that you need. Um, but that's all I got to say about this one. So um, thank you for watching and um, have a good day.